Hi lovelies, good morning. Thanks for tuning in. Welcome to Zenny's Thoughts. Here we share real life stories. If this is your first time of coming across this channel, my name is Zenny. If you have not subscribed, please do consider to do so. And to all my returning subscribers, thank you so much for always coming back. You guys cannot imagine how much I appreciate that. So guys, I actually have two videos which I would like you guys to see. Uh, one happened in Bini and the other one I don't know where it happened. Although I cannot understand perfectly okay because the audio is not audible enough, I do not understand what they were saying in the background, but there was someone who was explaining what they said and that we could hear clearly. So guys, uh, in the videos, I mean, one of the videos you can see some Fulani men, some elder. They were these were quite some old men, you know. They had they were intercepted with several guns, machetes, and all those things. And in the other one, you also see them brandishing uh guns and all those things, you know. This is one thing I do not understand. People always claim, you know, the 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 the, the Fulanese in position always claim that people. People are just calling these people name and blah 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 that the crimes that are being committed is not by them even though the the uh, enemy of Sokoto has agreed that eight percent of the crime eighty percent of the crimes committed in Nigeria are by the Fulanis but that aside yeah why would these people be allowed to be carrying guns up and down that is one thing I don't understand and if they are not criminals what do they need these guns for you know, the police and the soldiers, they go ahead harassing innocent citizens because they saw them with laptops. But they see these people with guns and they don't do anything about it. This is one thing that I do not understand. So they are trying to tell us that some people are privileged while some people are not. You know? You know, I'm beginning to think, yeah, because all this way that they have been saying that Buari is not alive and all those things, I see it as, you know, I don't believe it. But now I'm beginning to think that something is going on somewhere which I do not understand. You know, there are two things because what kind of president is he? He sit down and he's watching all these things going on. What is happening in Nigeria? What exactly is happening in Nigeria? I do not understand. Is it when there is war that this man will come out to do something? A lot of people has been shouting, crying in whichever way people has always brought up awareness concerning what full and his men are doing. They have killed thousands and thousands of people, innocent citizens that are went to their farms, to farm in their farmland and all those things. And he has not said anything about it. And look at this. In broad daylight, these men are brandishing weapons and he still do, do, don't say anything about it. The soldiers are there, the police are there, nobody is saying anything about it. What on earth does these people need guns for? Who is giving them all these guns? You know? Oh, I don't know, really. Nigeria, I don't know where we are going, honestly speaking. So guys, I will allow you people to see the two videos. First, you, I will play the first one, one that happened uh, somewhere in Benin City uh, yesterday, the 8th of February 2021. And the next one that happened somewhere, I don't know, but somebody was there narrating what happened so you guys should watch it and see and then drop your comments in the comment section below until next time when i will see you guys with another uh story do not forget that it's still eyes any thinking out loud it is any thoughts Oh boy, see. 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 Oh bo
Look at what I am seeing now, now. Today, today Tuesday. Today Tuesday. Today Tuesday. Today Tuesday, 8th of February 2021. Today Tuesday, no, Monday, Monday, Monday. Monday. Sorry, Monday. today Monday. Today Monday, 8th 2021. Mm. Reporting live from e near Ekewan Barak, full of enhancement with guns and all ammunition. Look at guns, look at guns. More than, more than, more than 20 guns. Bro, Sabek, wait. I'm going to go now. I'm going to go now. More than 20 guns. They are more than 100. You I want you to be at a rat. I come across to this video in Facebook and I am not an Aosa guy. I don't hear Aosa. But I have a friend who, who is Aosa. And uh, I walk to him and I show him the video. I ask him to tell me what what these people are saying. And he told me that that what is good for me is I should leave this country. Or if I have any of my siblings over there in the east that I, I should take them along with me. That we should move to any neighboring country around us. I asked him why. And he, st he told me that what these people are saying is that they are not happy of what is happening to them that they are crying of what happened to them at South South South, which is Yoruba part of of the country. And the worst that happens to them is the one that happened at eastern part of Nigeria, which is Igbo side. That they have the God to kill their cow and set set their house on fire. That their pain is not that they set their house on fire, is that they kill their cow. And they are asking them to leave their forest. Least you know. And they are asking them to leave their forest. And they said that, they said, the, the guy is telling me that this fulan is there, say that they are not going anywhere that this land which is nigeria belongs to them and they are going going to, uh, and they will make sure that they flush any living thing in that nigeria please don't take this this likely i am informing all our security agencies over there in the east all the volunteer command, please stay at alert because this information that I got, I am sure 
I know these people they are coming back. You guys see them, you guys see them down, down, down moving. Where are they, are they going to? I don't know. Please, where you got this video, make sure you share it until it reach a particular place that is supposed to reach. Don't take this lightly. I repeat, don't take this lightly. These people is coming back. Yorubas, Yorubas, prepare yourself. These people is coming back. We will.